Hello my people, so today in this video which is directed towards Newcastle mains or players who are interested in cheat spots, you can set up your ult as Newcastle. So let me define a cheat spot. A cheat spot is an area that only Newcastle can get to and obviously movement characters as well. They can almost go anywhere so you're never getting away from that. But other legends that doesn't have movement can't get to you so this can be somewhat beneficial. Some of these spots you probably know already. There are some that are hard to get to and some you don't even know existed. So before I get into the video, please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful and comment what spot you liked or disliked. Okay, so the first one we'll be talking about is Broken Moon. In the POI Eternal Gardens, you're gonna find these two tree sculptures or tree thing. I really don't know the correct name for this kind of art, so bear with me. My vocabulary isn't that high. So these two tree art things are the only ones you can jump to with your new castle alt. For the pig looking sculpture, you can just simply aim at him and jump on it. So it's not really difficult to mount. You also have a lot of room to move about, you can head glitch and also you have height to grief fights in other areas of the POI. Now this other tree sculpture that looks like Giratina from Pokemon, I'll put an image up on the screen for people who don't know what Pokemon is. This tree sculpture is hard to mount. You have to aim for the head to successfully mount it. Now, you don't have much room to do anything, unlike the last one, but you do have height. This can maybe be an escape area to get some heals up or use the height to grieve other fights in the POI. Now, at some entrances to internal gardens, you're gonna find these gateway columns. Which at first glance you're like nope there's no way i can get up here but you can actually can you just have to know the exact sweet spot to stand in so it works this is by far the hardest thing to jump to in the eternal gardens so at this first gateway column that's at the entrance when coming from the divide in order to mount it you have to stand at the edge of this box just make sure your head is above the bottom part of the column then slowly try to aim up until you get it. Now at the second gate column, that's at the opposite side of the first one, is a bit more of a challenge because you have to know exactly where to stand for it to work, which took me a very long time to find out. So you have to stand somewhere along this back side where the white flag and the rock in the grass is. Then slowly look up until you get it. Now these columns give you ultimate height in eternal gardens. But at the same time you can easily get angled out. So it's either a quick escape point to make some big IQ play or use it for griefing in high level play. Okay so the next POI is Alpha Base. My favorite place to drop in rank to lose RP. Now I had to find some cheat spot that would help me to stop losing here. So these aircrafts, which I've seen before on other maps, you can actually jump to the front area of the ship to quickly get height on your enemies to throw them off. There's not much space to move around on height, but you have edges you can actually head glitch on to overpower enemies below. So the next POI is Backup Atma. Now these two cheat spots I'm about to show you isn't anything too crazy like the gates in Eternal Gardens but they are decent high ground spots to do some damage or used as a rat spot because no one is gonna expect to see a new castle just chilling on a mountainside. Now the first spot is located to the left of Bakobama. You just need to align yourself with that tree then look up directly to the mountainside to the opposite direction then you'll find the spot. The second spot is located all the way to the back of back of Amo. You need to find that blue shipping container, then turn around to the mountainside and look up until you find it. Now, to be honest, these two spots you might never use because the ultimate height in back of Amo is a lot more easier to access, but you never know because if a zone pulls to one of these cheat spots and ultimate height is no longer playable, you could use these spots to get high ground and grief. So the next POI is Breaker Wharf. 
No, all the way to the back, right? You're gonna see this damage ship part that you can Newcastle on. Now, honestly, for this spot to be beneficial in that area, it's kind of tough because it is just so much higher ground in Breaker Wharf that would have angles on you. So it might not be ideal in most situations. Now, on to the second part that's almost in Dry Gulch when you're coming from Breaker Wharf. You're gonna find another damage ship part you can set up on. The top of it is slightly tilted which is perfect for head glitching. Now, me personally, I've seen zone ends here before, and I can say this is a goated spot to be in. You can see teams on the bridge and in dry gulch. I probably don't have to say this, but you'll find these generator things all over Broken Moon. You just have to know the right time to utilize these things to your advantage. Now, into the last POI, Boundary, you're gonna see these tall pillars all over the POI. Getting on top isn't difficult. You just need to walk up the steps that's next to them while aiming at it. Mounting one of these gives you ultimate height and it's also a good escape point as well until you get maggie drill for 200 damage. But anyways that's it for the video. I know there's a lot more POIs I haven't searched yet. I'm gonna get to it very soon. So until then I'll see you legends in the next one.